Hi, I'm the Convalescing Soul. Welcome to my channel. We are reading um, from the White Light Oracle Guidebook number five. I feel like today is a good day. Do you guys feel like today is a good day? I feel like it's a good day. Queen of the Nagas. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta do a little <laughs> um, finger placement for um, the propriety of uh, YouTube, I guess. Queen of the Nagas. Okay. We begin. <laughs> A sacred task exists for you to fulfill. It is to be found through connection to your heart. Be open only to those most authentic teachings which prove helpful to your continued spiritual progress and personal freedom. Cleansing your body, mind, heart, and soul will be of particular benefit at this time. Powerful, subtle energies are helping ensure your success. Believe that many positive synchronicities and unexpected allies will rally to support you. Let me just move these other ones out of the out of the <laughs> view so it's not cluttered for you okay <clears throat> the mysterious being known as nagas sorry the mysterious beings known as nagas are recognized in spiritual traditions across india nepal and tibet as well as in other shamanic and cultural tr traditions. Nagas are connected to water and are extremely sensitive to pollutions and poisons of all kinds. They become disturbed when waters are polluted. Since our bodies are composed of more water than anything else, I believe, like what, 70% water? Actually, I, I think I heard something, again, Give it a gook. I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> um, that the earth is composed of 70% water, as are our bodies. Basically, the water percentage in our body, you know, parallels that of um, the earth, which I thought was kind of a cool fact, if in fact it's a true fact. We continue. <clears throat> Since our bodies are composed of more water than anything else, when the waters of our planet are disturbed, so too are we. What? I think that information must be right. <laughs> we can make gentle offerings to the waters of our planet and help heal them through our choices. As we do our part to honor and heal the waters, we help ourselves and the Nagas who in turn assist humans to further heal and evolve spiritually. Certain Nagas, including the Queen Naga, including Naga Queen, are emanations of enlightened higher beings. The Eastern Goddess of Compassion, Kuan Yin, is said to assume the form of a benevolent Naga to help beings in need of her protection. Enlightened Naga beings are very helpful to humans, protecting secret wisdoms and offering powerful teachings to those who are wise and committed. I hope you did not just hear my stomach digesting my tacos. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay. My stomach agrees. My gut is in agreement with that. Enlightened Naga beings are very helpful to humans, protecting secret, secret 
wisdoms and offering powerful teachings to those who are wise and committed enough to use them for the greater good, the Naga Queen helps such practitioners overcome the numerous poisons that abound in our world, find deep emotional healing, and make significant spiritual progress. The Queen of the Naga brings two messages. The first is that as you maintain your integrity and take your emotional healing journey, you are placing yourself within a powerful field of spiritual protection. Continue to tend to your inner healing and ask for spiritual protection each day from the highest being you love or beings you love. As you continue with such practices, a palpable field of positive energy accumulates around you, ministering, no, 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 not ministering, <laughs> minimizing negative influences. On off days, this field buffers you from your own mind or factors outside of your control such as astrological influences or other people's ego-driven actions. Pardon me. If some negativity does enter your world, its severity is minimized and you will recover from the disturbance more swiftly. You can honor this guidance through the spiritual protection exercise below. The second message of this oracle is that something of great value is at work in your world. I should not have eaten tacos <laughs> before this reading. My apologies. Spirit works with tremendous subtlety, even when it is accomplishing a masterful stroke of luminous inspiration and powerful grace. You may not be fully aware of the divine protection being granted or of a negativity that was averted. Yet, you are being held in grace nonetheless. If you are struggling with some matter, know that spiritual protection has prevented this situation from escalating and shall ensure that the situation is corrected and resolved. The divine can assume whatever form will benefit the spiritual seeker to ensue their continued progress, facilitating the right things at the right time. There is no need to impose a limit on the limitless resourcefulness and creativity, generosity, and creative generosity of the divine at play in your affairs. All you need to do is invite it in and trust. Here's your healing process. You may like to pour yourself a glass of water. Bless it with love from your heart, with gratitude and peaceful thoughts, and then drink it as a sacred liberation. You may never consider a glass of water to be ordinary again. You can then say this prayer aloud if you want to. May all waters be cleansed, protected, and blessed for the greatest good. I am open to the unconditionally generous compassion and wisdom that protects and guides all true paths. May the positive presence of light be awakened within me. May I be surrounded by divine protection and spiritual grace. May I effortlessly attract all that is needed for my highest good, for the spiritual benefit of all beings. You, and then bow your head with your hands in prayer 
sensing that your own heart has become radiant with spiritual grace and the white light that is shining through all dimensions for the benefit of all beings. Um, you may also sense other beings of light around you radiating their love to lift the vibration in all dimensions so the pathway to healing and enlightenment opens for all. When you are ready, ground yourself in the here and now to complete your healing process. You can safely do this practice on a daily basis. Very beautiful. Let me show you the card one more time before we go. Right? <laughs> it's kind of a little bit tricky. It's beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Much love and blessings sent to you from me always.